Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I've got a little Easter decoration that I'm going to make with you. Now this bunny rabbit came from Poundland. They had some pink ones as well. And I also picked up some of these hanging eggs from Poundland too. They're, as I say, the pink one's quite cute. If you wanted to do like a pink theme, you wouldn't have to change it. Or you can paint the, the rabbits as well. But I think this white rabbit will be absolutely fine. I'm also going to use this. Now this is actually... A candle stand but it's broken this part came off and I always keep this for sort of decoration to get things a little bit higher so you can use um, trays plates anything with a little bit of height um, also the cake stands that you can get from Poundland they do like the mini cake stands with the, the the ledge on you could do that that would work absolutely fine because you can sort of put bits and pieces around the top of the, the glass ledge that would work perfectly I'm going to use this because it's something that I've got but as I say you can mix and match and, and use whatever you've got there as well. These flowers here came from Home Bargains, we're going to be using those and I think I'm going to use just some of these, these are what I've got in my stash, I think I got these from the Clendon No Craft Shop but again you can just use really whatever you've got, you don't have to think oh I've got to you know, buy loads of stuff. So to start with we're going to put some of the flowers around the edge of this base and I'm just going to stick them on using hot glue. Now because of what this is made of they probably won't last on there forever but they will last for as long as I need them to and then what I'll do is I'll just peel them off and that'll be absolutely fine. So I'm going to get my hot glue gun and all I'm doing is putting some glue on and then sticking them directly onto the actual stand here and I'm going to go all the way around with the flowers and they do hold quite well I've got one of the large glue guns I'm using at the moment but I do actually prefer the smaller ones that I've been that I've had in the past you can get them from like the range and places like that I'll just put that under there to stop the drips because I find this one does drip quite a bit but this is the only one that I've got sticks for at the moment so we'll just pop those on. Incidentally, if you are still making Easter bonnets this year, then I've done a few Easter bonnet easy tutorials in the past. So you might want to check those out because even though you're probably not doing a parade at school, it would be, be quite nice to make the kids a bonnet still. Right, so they're pretty stuck underneath there. And what I'm going to do is just poke these. I'll put a dab of glue on the end. And then I'm going to poke these in. And just sort of make them so they're a nice kind of, a bit of a different colour really, just to break up the cream. Right, I've just changed angle for you slightly so you can see this next bit. This is the kind of the posy look that we're going for and all we're going to do is to put some glue you can either put it on the the rabbit or put it on the stand here it makes no difference and we're going to stick the bunny rabbit onto the top like this so just hold that down and that will glue in place now what i thought would look quite nice is i pulled off one of the blue flowers and i did think about changing the the bow to a blue one but I also thought one of these flowers would look quite cute just there on the bunny rabbit just to tie it in and I'll maybe put like a little gem or something in there as well and with these I did actually cut some bits off them because they were a little bit long right now what I'm going to do is to put one of the little hanging eggs at the front here and I think the blue one would look really really sweet now if you wanted to you could dot them around the edge that would look quite cute as well but I just think maybe one of the blue would look quite cute just at the base of the bunny rabbit's feet just so it looks like she's collecting easter eggs and also I found a pot in the craft room with these gems in so I'm going to put a tiny dab of hot glue on there and then just stick that just in the middle 
just just so it gives it like you know a little bit of something extra and it is a really really simple display it's really really easy to do but I thought that little bunny rabbit was so cute I really wanted to make her into a display so I'm just I've just really used a lot of stuff that I've got at home already so that's it for me I hope you're all okay and I hope you like our little Easter bunny and I'll see you all again soon so you take care bye for now